like this, man. One of the worst things to be in is like other than a loser. You want to know what's worse than being a loser? Being a half oh, yeah. in, my nigga. Do you feel? Me? Yeah. Yeah, one of the worst things in this life to be <laughs> other than a loser is being a has been holding on no, to God's really. glory. Do My God! The top of the top. You, you, you are now watching the hottest morning show on the planet. The Rise and Grind Morning Show with CEO Hockley. It's time to get up and counter. And counter. And counter. And counter. By Big Meech. They let Big Meech to the halfway house, man. Yes, BMF Big Meech is at the halfway house. He's one step closer to be totally free, right? One step closer from being totally free, meaning like at the halfway house, meaning like you halfway out and you halfway in, but you get way more freedoms than being from behind them bars. So a lot of people upset. They like, why is LeBron James celebrating Big Meech coming home? A lot of people are caught up in the culture of the streets and it's being glorified. So is it a good thing that we mentioned him being home or is it a bad thing, right, that he home and we shouldn't be mentioning this? Again, this is the thing that leads people to thinking that going to prison or going to being a street nigga is, is cool. The, these is the fame and attention shit that people want. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Is it a, was it a good thing that LeBron and other celebrities are commenting or mentioning that Big Meech is home, or is it a bad thing? Put a one in the chat if you think it's good. Put a two in the chat if you think it's bad. Do you think that it adds to his influence of having youngsters thinking that what he did or the way he went is the way he need to go? A one that you cool with, a two that you think is bad, man. Yeah, and. We need some people to talk to us, man. One, if it's good. Two, if it's bad for the culture, man. Y'all let me know, man. Uh, we're going to bring up a picture. We got a picture of the homie. Yeah, we, got a, we got a picture of the homie, man, out at the halfway house, right? Now, he did serve his time. If, if I'm not mistaken, he done did 20-some years, 21 or 22 years behind that wall, and he back. He got one of the biggest shows on TV, and, and he's back. Should this something we should be praising or something we should be uh, ignoring? Hey, I'm going to have my opinion, but I got a guess. I'm going to bring the homie Shimon up and share his opinion and what he think about it, man. Shimon, uh, hold on. Let me get you up here. Big Meech home, man. What you thought about that when you got that news, man? Talk to the people. Shit, it was like shit. Another another brother home. Shit, I, I was glad. I mean, it's all good. Big Meech, he did his time. He's supposed to come home, but uh, everybody talking about he a snitch now. How he a snitch? Y'all mean to tell me y'all let a snitch walk the compound for nineteen and a half years, and y'all ain't take his paperwork? Uh, just because he Big Meech, he got to walk around. Now everybody want to okay, cuffing them coming out saying that he told. But why? Why ain't nobody told? as soon as this shit happened because i know if a nigga do anything down this way they telling on your ass as soon as it happened what happened right. so you mean you let this nigga walk the compound for 19 years and ain't nobody do nothing well well you know you always got some haters man like you know in this in, 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 in this game nigga gonna always call you a couple things that don't like you. he gonna either right. call you a snitch or a punk yeah either way yeah like that's just what it is when that when that whenever you Whenever you beefing with a nigga, whenever you're in these streets, these are the two motherfucking slurs that's always thrown back and forth. You, 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 do you feel me? So, right. Of course, everybody's, everybody wasn't happy when Simon came home. Wouldn't you agree? Right. Everybody ain't happy for you. You, you feel me? Everybody, <laughs> everybody wasn't happy when CEO came home. <laughs> no. right? Yeah, everybody ain't going to be happy. So my, my thing is this. Here's the big question, right? I, I pose a question. Should we be celebrating this as a culture? And my answer, my answer to that is, of course, man, somebody that's been locked up, it's a blessing to see a brother make it back across that line. Because you got to understand, right. regardless of what someone has done, right, regardless of the situation, nothing is more 
follow than keeping somebody captive. Yeah, being captive is a hell of a situation. Being captive for any amount of time, let alone 20 years. And if somebody survived 20 years and able to come back to society, then you know you got to be saluted if nothing else, man. Yeah, he did his time. I mean, he ain't did nothing with the average other brothers ain't ain't did it and came home. You know, they just gonna hold their nuts because it's big meat, like you say. But uh, I hope he get out and, and stay out the way because they looking for another way to put him his ass back in there. Little right. do he know. So free Larry Hoover. They need to get uh brother Larry out. They freeing everybody else. It's trying to let Larry Hoover go. This man seventy some years old. They don't want niggas like Larry. I can see Larry can get niggas to get their mind right. They don't want. That's why they kill Tookie. You gonna? I'm gonna kill Tookie. Let Larry suffer down now and let these young niggas run wild. Give them the skinny jeans. Give them the guns. They gave them everything they want. When we was coming up, nigga barely had a, 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 a you know, a 25 with the tape. I remember, nigga, we was using a, a Q-tip with a deuce deuce in that bitch to make that whole fire. Right. So. Yeah, man, it be all type of little shit going on, man. They 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 let these motherfuckers go on, but Big Meeks, man, I'm glad he home. He just better stay out the way and, and stay focused and pay attention because they looking for any reason. Yeah, a guy like him, they don't want no Big Meeks out on the streets. No. The stripper hoes is talking about they ready for him to come home so he can show these young niggas out about Big Meeks better go sit his old ass down and raise his grandkids up and get them. What's up with it, baby? Go sit down. Ain't no more going to the strip club. That, that should be the last thing on his mind. A strip club. Ain't none of them strippers sent him down when he was down there. Right. But you want to get out and go buy like that's these niggas try. I hate with them rich. No, no, nah, nah, wait, wait. That ain't him. That's what people want him to do. That yeah, you about to you about to put that shit on that man. That's well, what I, I, listen, if you know Demetri Flannery, if you know Big Meese, Big Meese going to that goddamn club. But I'm saying people want him to live up to the legend, man. Niggas always want you to live up to the legend that they want to be entertained by. Like, hey, well, I'm going to tell you this, though. If you did 20 years and you ain't changed, you don't waste 20 years of your life, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm just giving you I'm just giving you the real game. Now, 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 now let's be real. Let's see how old Big Meech is. Yeah, I don't know how, how old he is. By the end, it's 50. He old All right, we, we finna see. He been right. out there. Yeah. Yeah. He in his 50s. He 56. For sure. Come on, man. That nigga been around for a old. long time. He was, so he so was. that means he been in there since he was 36. Now, if you get out, and you still acting like you 36, you done wasted 20 years, man. Yeah, I don't think he, he you know, Big Meats was always different from a lot of niggas. They just, I mean, when you got right. a name like that, the people gonna blow you up because it was other guys that was hiding the game in him that ain't got caught. Niggas just, they, they somebody told on Big Meats. You know how right. this shit go? They tell right. on the people, man, that who they want to go. This motherfucker, man, this shit, hey, man. Yeah, I What's think, up I with think it, huh? My my personal belief, I think he gonna become a big time executive, man. Yeah, I think in the, in the, in the, in the lane of entertainment, same way you see what's called it. You see how Harry O doing the game, with yeah. Snoop, do do you see you see how Harry O doing the game with Snoop? Right, right. Yeah, I think Big Meat's gonna come. I think he gonna come for the crown as he should of his age. He gonna come to be big well, time, man. They gonna put him in a position. You got so many rappers that really was dealing with him, like the Ti. I don't think he gonna fuck with Jeezy. They had a good relationship, but I don't know. You know, it's so many. Everybody Listen, he got, he got Ti. He got Jay Z. He Gucci. got Fifty Cent. He got LeBron James. Like everybody finna reach out. So again, it's only right as the wise man he was in the street as a kid to be at this age and just boss all the way up. And I mean, say boss up, meaning like become a real executive, a nigga that produce shit and put shit down. Man, the man got so much he can tell and get a game. You don't think that's why Fifty went in, hurry up and let me go and write this here script. Fifty ain't no fool. Right, right. This shit, this shit is legendary. But I, I don't think he going back. This is me personally, right? I don't think he going back to the old meat. I think we're gonna see a whole nother meat. I mean, cause now he got everything at his disposal. It's wow. wide open now. See, before you was running the play and making the money, you know, you had to do what you had to do. But now it's at his disposal. 
The whole game is at is in his hands. Yeah, ain't no more, man. I gotta put the money. Now everything is legit, and you right. got the money to do whatever you want to do from a legit standpoint. Ain't no more putting shit in your mama name and your sister <laughs> yeah, like, every everything, everything on you. You got, right. you, got, you got five million to do what you want to do from a legit standpoint. So now you get to see if people smart or not. One thing about the game, homie, I'm going to tell you this. We hear certain names in the game, right? Like the Rafa Edmonds and, and the Alpos and, and all them different names. You got to understand, uh, 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 the Freeway Ricky Ross, a lot of them niggas wasn't smart, my nigga. A lot of them niggas was just first. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense to you. A lot of I those know. niggas, yeah, as, as as these people wanted to flood the nation with drugs and that era came about, a lot of them niggas was just first. The smart niggas is like a Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? A smart nigga is like a Jay-Z, right? right? The smart nigga is like a Meech. Even though he went down, it took him too long to where he able to stay up forever. All these niggas that had a run and lost it, and can't get back, them niggas was just first, my nigga. I'm just giving you the real spiel. Like, yeah, yeah of course it, it was just a hell was. of an opportunity and a hell of a blessing at a time when nothing else existed. Yeah, so it's easy for you, love. He said, a Harry O. Them niggas was smart, my nigga. You could tell the niggas that was smart versus the niggas that was first. Freeway Ricky Ross, no disrespect to him. It's just me making an observation. He was just first, my nigga. He wasn't a smart nigga at all. Nah, he, I'm gonna tell you, free. It. See, they hated on Freeway Ricky Ross. See, they you gotta you got that history. See, Harry O, all them niggas, them all them niggas connected, man. With with the, with see, a lot of people don't know. Harry O wife is from H Time, nigga. Lita Harris, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jay Prince see? hooked them up. Jay Prince lined them up. No, I, I I get the hit, but what I'm saying is this. A lot of them niggas was first, bro, and we get caught up in them stories of them niggas being first. One thing now, one thing, Ricky was really retarded. The man told you he couldn't read. They was getting down. That's what I, I'm trying to say. I, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm telling you that because it's like this, man. One of the worst things to be in this life, other than a loser. You want to know what's worse than being a loser? Being a half oh, yeah. man, my nigga. Do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, one of the worst things in this life to be <laughs> other than a loser is being a has been holding on no, to lost really. glory. Do you hear Don't me? Don't nobody remember you. Holding <laughs> on to lost glory, man. A nigga in the penitentiary told me this, and, and I'll never forget it. Once was is like never had, my nigga. For real. Yeah, once was is like never had. Nobody. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there telling you. That's just no, what it real. is, bro. When you when you get the fucking around. Now that's not a knock on him, but when I look at the dope game and I look at the 80s and I look at what was going on, a lot of niggas was just first. Cream gonna rise to the top, right? Because it was a hell of an opportunity for people. But a lot of and, and it ain't nothing wrong with freeway Ricky Ross and the millions he made and him being first. But being smart is something totally different, man. Being smart is being Harry O. Being smart. How, how you do all them years in prison and still come out with a mind in the game? He went to jail at 26. You but do you saying? feel, hold on, do you feel that Rick Ross, the rapper, should have kept it real and broke bread with the real and Rick that, Ross? Listen, they got nothing to do. What happened? I'm just asking. I'm asking. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the game. Rick Ross, the dealer, he gets dealer. out. He yeah. gets a chance. He gets out. He goes back trying to do another little deal. That's how you know a nigga wasn't smart, man. Oh goddamn me! Um, Shamar popped out, but, but 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 that's how you know a nigga not smart, man. Like you gotta be intelligent to understand. Am I making sense to you? Like I couldn't hear you. Ed went out, but you were saying, yeah, he got out and went and made another deal. That's why he tried, I, to, he tried to went out and make, again. This this is about intelligence. He went to go help his homie though. His homie listen, was dying, you know, and he was talk, trying to do something. Listen, for the, listen, what I'm telling you. I'm he's talking about intelligence, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. We we talking about intelligence. The the one thing that make you insane. You know the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, trying to get a different result. You, you didn't heard that before. 
right? Regardless of the yeah. excuse why you made it. He shouldn't have went over there. What you saying? Fucking with the people. Yeah. You don't have the intelligence. Not blind to know that. that that blind down son his ass up the river with that. Yeah, but but you don't have the intelligence not to know that. Do, do, am I making sense to you? So oh again, yeah, I'm in. Mean, I'm not. I'm not knocking him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to knock him off his pedestal. I'm trying to make sense of it for young people and other people that are looking at it as if like it's something they need to do. My nigga, you got to be intelligent, man. You got to take your losses and process that information and don't repeat them no more. Nah, you, like, you said some real shit. Like yeah. when he got out, like you said, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't even fuck with that shit. If you was going to do this here, you should have stayed focused. You like that. You got slipped up and caught up. And I see what you're saying. A lot of niggas get caught up, but I think he learned his lesson. He ain't been back since. <laughs> no, he, he, he learned his lesson, but it's hard to get yeah. back in the game the way you had it because it take a level of intelligence to keep the money, my nigga. See, wow. that's what I had to realize. I done fucked up a lot of paper. I know nigga looking at me like, damn, CEO Hockey, man, he What's got up, out, he got on. Now, my nigga, I done fucked up a lot of paper. But I had to get intelligent and learn from them mistakes, my nigga, to be able to keep the paper, man. You know what I'm saying? But shout, shout out to them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to drop that little game on people, man. I'm finna get ready to get out of here because I got to go get the paper, right? I got to go get the goddamn paper. But yes, man, I appreciate you pulling up. Let's do this here before we go, though. What you want to leave the people with, man? Drop them some game. You out here. You picking up something off the ground from the Hungry Hounds, man. Go on man, in with something. I I appreciate y'all for letting me come in on CEO Hockley, man. Spread my wisdom, my knowledge with y'all and y'all checking me out. Man, go check me out on Seymour and the Go One and Two. Go check me out on your Hunsay Kingston, man. Hey, man, we just trying to do. I'm in Galveston, man. I'm chilling with Mr. Larry, man. We back in business. What's up, Mr. Larry? Oh, it's all right, bro. Yeah, we live on that island. That's what we do on the block, man. Ain't nobody out but the old heads. They in the back. See, I like chilling with the old heads. I ain't going to get myself in trouble. Running with them young niggas, you're going to be in all type of shit. You better listen to your mama and your daddy and your grandpa and your grandma while they still here and they love you and they tell you something right. Them the people that's going to look out for you when you go down because them same niggas that say they're your partners and your friends when you get in trouble, guess what? They ain't going to send you shit. You might have one or two partners that's going to hold it down, keep real rest of them. The gang gang. Ain't, ain't gonna be no gang gang so yeah you better stay insane keep your mind right man and stay free and blessed man appreciate you see your if you really rock with me and you really want to support the channel this is what i need you to do man text the word salute to this number on the screen yes text the word salute to this number on the screen and you're going to join my personal text messaging service it's free of charge to you but i want to make sure that my supporters and the people that salute me Get my videos first, man. I want to make sure YouTube never miss sending you one of these videos and you get to catch my live shows, man, which are the livest shows on YouTube. Text the word salute to this number on the screen and you're going to join my personal text message surges and get all my videos, man, first directly to your phone, man. Appreciate you for watching. Thanks for tapping in. And like always, man, count up.